हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर विद माय डेली प्रिडिक्शन एंड एनालिसिस फॉर ग्लोबल मार्केट्स एंड कमोडिटीज इन दिस एनालिसिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैंडल चार्ट्स एंड इंडिकेटर्स वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इनटू यूएस यूरोप यूके एंड इंडिया इंडेक्स एंड ऑल्सो गोल्ड सिल्वर एंड क्रूडल एंड नेचुरल गैस एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट मी समराइज द डे बिफोर वॉट अ रोलर कोस्टर राइड इट वॉज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग ड्रॉप इन इक्विटीज एंड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग राइज इन कमोडिटीज एंड आफ्टर दैट अ शार्प करेक्शन इन बोथ the commodities and a rise in equities that is what has happened with the us cash session now the markets are again back to the same levels where we started the day before with the asia session where we started this and where we had given this analysis yesterday again almost everything is back at the same levels now what is going to happen today we are we will look on the entry points we will find the trend we will find where to enter and i will also give you where to exit now how to make profit today let's start the day with gold first before we proceed don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can remain stay tuned with the latest analysis now this is the 4 hour chart for gold and on the 4 hour chart for gold the gold is again come back to the same levels that is uh, it has traded since long 19 uh, i can say 1915 to 1918 90 levels now this zone this box is important for gold this is the sideways movement and again it has fallen back into this zone so any breakout beyond 1915 yes 1920 is definitely going to provide a resistance and beyond that definitely it will fly towards 1925 and 1935 levels so it can rise again till here 1935 1940 can be expected if it continues to remain or continues to rise beyond 1915 levels on the flip side breaking 1900 levels we can expect it to drop a little towards 1890 1880 and then 1870 levels almost every 10 points of move it has got a little resistance there now look at the 4 hour charts this is the 20 period uh, moving average here which is giving it a little resistance at 1910 so i think uh, a move beyond 1910 also is a good indicator to uh, take a long entry probably probably towards 1912 and 1915 this is going to be immediate resistance beyond 1950 definitely it will rise towards 1920 levels which is a pivot level also now look at the beauty of the uh, charts here see the stochastic was overbought it did nothing it it uh, it got towards a stronger rise and a sharp correction again coming back to the same levels but the stochastic has come back to the near bottom levels so it has got a good move and again made a good position to rise strongly again the macd has just crossed over and is still trading on a sell side on a 4 hour chart so we have to be little bit cautious here but let's have a look at the daily charts now on the daily charts you have to just eliminate this previous candle see you can just delete this previous candle as if nothing has happened and you can start the day fresh with this the support is at around 1910 level so any move beyond 1910 and yes beyond 1910 you can expect 1912 and 1915 1920 till here we can expect that probably it is trying to decide which ways to take which direction to take and beyond 1920 it is definitely going to rise towards 1935 1940 levels on the flip side on the flip side if it breaks this zone at 1900 now i will say 1895 if it breaks 1895 today you can take a short entry there probably you can expect it to drop strongly on the downside towards 1891 1880 and 1870 levels now this is on the daily charts also on the daily charts 1.2 observe is the pivot right now if you look at the high at around 1975 and you can expect the pivot at 1925 levels so from 1925 as the pivot uh, right now the bottom can be at around 1870 if it continues to drop from there but uh, this is just an expectation also look at the stochastic on the downside the support at 1880 will come into picture in 1863 levels now these two levels are very important if it continues to drop below 1895 now if it continues to drop below 1895 and 1891 these levels will come into support very strongly for gold for any downward move now look at the stochastic the beauty of the charts it was overbought it was overbought extremely since past many days we were expecting a drop but what it did the beauty is it achieved a high at 1975 and a drop from there now 
though it has come back to the same levels where it started the day before yesterday but the stochastic has come back to near oversold levels that is the beauty without any significant move it has got the stochastic at bottom so this is what markets have done and now from here we will see whether it could rise or not the MACD lines are trying to converge and possible crossover may take it towards the sell side the RSI is overbought so to summarize the analysis uh, a possible long entry beyond 1912 I will recommend if it trades beyond 1912 you can take a long entry for 1915 the nearest resistance then 1920 see these two levels are very important for gold to cross pass by after that every five move yes uh, it will try to hit 1925 but beyond 1925 we may see a a significant move towards 1935 1940 and 1950 these three levels are going to be again very important for gold for any further move on the upside i don't expect that probably 1950 definitely is going to be a stronger resistance for the day on the other side if you see it dropping below 1900 you can take a short entry for five points 1895 the nearest resistance 1890 the next resistance so these Two levels are very strong support for gold and any move below will take it towards 1880, 1870 and 1863 levels. So take a short entry below 1900, take a long entry beyond 1912. Uh, right now it is trading at 1910 levels. So take your positions accordingly. Now let's have a look at the charts for silver. Similar is the move from silver, a good rise taking it towards 2560 levels and a drop till towards 2380. Remember 2380 I had told many a times 2380 is a very strong support for silver and with the support at 2380 it is trying to rise. Now see uh, one point you have to observe here is any drop below this zone at 2420 will take it towards again towards 2412 which is going to be a strong support remember 2412 we had seen many a times in past 2412 giving it a resistance on the upside now it will try to give it a resistance on the downside so below 2420 you can take a short entry for 2412 and 2400 these two levels are very important and then it will try to again come back till towards 2390 and 2380 levels so uh, till here yes it can bounce back from 2390 levels it can bounce back from 2400 levels it can bounce back from 2412 levels so these three points three levels are very important and we have to take our entries accordingly any drop below 2412 2420 yes you can take a short entry and take these levels but uh, wait a bit let let us observe again on the upside if you see 2450 here 2455 specifically is going to be a stronger resistance which is provided a previous uh, type, uh, on the previous uh, occasion also we have seen this giving it a stronger resistance and now again today it may rise and how far this could go the next target is towards 2470 levels and 2480 levels these two levels are going to be crucial for silver probably we may see it hitting 2475 levels again today my expectation for silver is that if it rises beyond 2455 one can remain long and also till the time it remains above 2420 one can remain long one can expect it to hit 2450 and 2475 levels at least also see that is what i had told for gold also the silver also was trading overbought and despite any significant drop it is uh, it has bought the indicators down it has bought the stochastic down on the daily charts this is the beauty of the uh, markets that without any significant move it has got the indicators on the downside now it has got enough room for further up move now look at the MACD it is still, still running parallel and uh, RSI is near to overbought levels but let's have a look at the charts on the 4 hour chart uh, see here it is getting a little resistance here at 2440 which we have seen in past 2440 levels providing it a resistance this is a 20 period moving average beyond 2440 you can expect it to hit 2455 and then 2470 levels still here it may try to uh, act little bit you know i will not say that it is, it is strongly bullish still here but yes once it breaks past 2480 definitely you can expect it to rise towards 2500 and 2520 levels also on the downside once it breaks 24 uh 20 levels here you can take a short entry you can expect it to drop till towards 24 12 and 24 hundred 23 95 these three levels are very strong support levels for silver for any downward move breaking this zone yes you can expect it to hit 23 80 and 23 50 levels take your positions accordingly but 
look at this dpo is in uh, green and see the stochastic on the four hour charts now it is curving upwards it was overbought here it was overbought and supposed to drop that is what has happened and now it has again come back to oversold level so from here you can expect it to rise the macd on four hour charts have just crossed over if they converge and cross over again probably we will be looking for couple more green candles here for it this to happen so to summarize it well a long entry beyond 2440 2445 i will say 2445 you can take a long entry and you can expect it to hit 2455 the first resistance 2475 the next resistance and beyond 2475 it will try to hit 2500 and 2520 levels on the other side so this is the long entry take a long entry at 2445 on the other side if you see it dropping below 2420 you can take a short entry at 2420 you can expect it to drop towards 2412 and then towards 2400 these two levels and the nearest resistance 2395 these three levels are very strong support levels for silver any move below 2395 will take it towards 2380 and 2350 levels uh, below that it is means below 2395 and 2380 we can expect it to correct sharply so be cautious with that now let's have a look at uh, crude oil similar is the position with crude oil a good sharp rise and then a a good sharp rise then a drop and yes you can see high, uh, higher lows and coming back to this level at 9200 now 9200 and 9100 levels are going to be strong support for crude oil any move beyond 9100 or 91 dollars is only indication that it is going to act bearish towards 9050 and 9000 9000 levels now till the time it remains above 9200 yes you can find that there is a resistance around here at 1994.50 and also you can see a uh, higher highs which is trying to provide a little resistance on the upside move so breaking this zone at 9520 you can take a long entry if it breaks 9520 you can take a long entry you can expect it to rise also here you can find that higher lows and higher highs so it may try to confine itself within this probably any breakout the support on the downside is towards 9200 9200 should provide a support also in between here you may find it like getting a little support from 90 370 and 9320 levels so these two levels three levels are definitely stronger levels for crude oil for any downward move and also on the upside here at 9450 it is trying to get still a little resistance breaking 9450 you can expect it to rise a little i am going but this is just on a four hour chart we'll look at the daily charts also look at the beauty here it was overbought here got the drop and higher lows on stochastic probably if it converges from uh, if if it crosses over again and if it tries to move upward from here again it will try to enter into overbought positions where it uh, where we may see crude oil trading above 100 dollar levels again the macd has crossed over and it is still trading in a buy side now let's come back to the daily charts on the daily charts you can see that higher lows and higher highs the pivot side uh, somewhere here at around 95 levels we have seen it crossing 100 dollar level that was expected for crude oil many were saying since quite a long time that crude oil might cross 100 dollar levels now look at this the 20 period moving average giving it a support at 9100 levels now this level is very important for crude oil and any point of time today if you see it trading right right now at 94 50 40 levels if you see it trading beyond 95 20 take a long entry there beyond 95 20 here at 97 100 it is going to get a little resistance once it breaks 97 100 definitely it will fly to towards 98 20 levels the target for the day is at around 98 100 and 98 20 levels we may see it rising till those levels if it breaks beyond 95 20 so take a long entry at 95 20 on the flip side once it drops below 93 100 you can take a short entry here so see wider candle yesterday and again for us a wider trade no trading zone between 9300 and 9520 so in between these two 20 points it may trade sideways now look at the stochastic near to uh, oversold overbought levels on the daily charts crossing it on the downwards 
that is what is my worry point that it is crossing towards downside and possibly below 9300 it can again try to come back till towards 9200 and 9100 breaking 9100 we may see a good fall on crude oil however till the time it remains above 9100 you can expect it to bounce back again on the upside the MACD lines have just crossed over on a buy side and it can continue to remain uh, in this zone after a long time it is crossed over on the buy side so we may expect it to sustain these levels uh, rsi was trading at a overbought levels and now trying to look downwards so to summarize it well a long entry above 9520 is recommended where you can expect it to hit 9600 the nearest resistance then it will move towards 9680, 9750 and 9800. These three levels are going to be strong levels for crude oil on any further advancement. It may try to rise to one level, then try to drop a bit, then rise, then drop and achieve 9800 ultimately. That is my target for the day. We can expect it to hit 9800 levels again. On the downside, once it breaks, see, we have to be... Uh, very clear that only go on trade with the direction on the downside if it trades below 9300 if you see it trading below 9300 you can take a short entry there then my target is towards 9220 9150 and 9100 these three levels are again very important for silver uh for crude oil if it breaks below 9100 then you can expect it to hit 90 dollar levels or 9000 levels directly so take your positions accordingly now let's move towards natural gas in general volatile ng has shown a little move yesterday and the candle is yet to close for uh, ng but the high at 49.50 has been achieved and yes a low at around 4600 so here you can see higher lows and higher highs so it is still very much confined within this channel and again i will expect 4600 is going to be the support for the day if it trades till the time it trades above 4600 yes you can expect it to again hit 5000 levels or five dollar levels so uh, only short entry is below 4.6 dollar or 4600 levels in my uh, app yes it is in thousands so only drop or only short entries below 4600 where you can still expect it to get 4550 as a stronger support till the time for the day it remains or trades above 4550 or 4.55 dollar levels you can expect it to rise the next target is towards 5000 levels or 5 dollar levels we i am expecting it to hit 5 dollar levels within this uh, if not today then by monday it may try to hit 5 dollar levels and possibly cross this zone yes so uh, a long entry yes you can take a long entry once it trades beyond 47.50 or 4.75 you can take a long entry there the nearest resistance is at around 4850 or 4.85 dollar levels or else 49.50 and 5000 levels will come into picture so this is what we can see on the daily chart but see the natural gas is still overbought on the daily charts i will wait for the next candle to start and we'll see how it be how the uh, indicator uh, remains there but i think uh, it must be starting from a drop so probably we can expect it to reverse a bit the macd is still on the buy side the rsi is still in the comfortable zone neither overbought nor oversold now look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts here is a four hour chart and here is a reversal candle possibly see bears are not taking the control here and it is closed with a rise with a small body anytime if you see the wick is more and the body is short probably you can expect a reversal from there so this zone you can see that is why i say 4600 is the level below which you can go short here is the 20 period moving average giving it a support so beyond this the next target is towards 4700 to 10 levels and that is why i say any move beyond 4.75 here you can expect it to rise strongly once it moves beyond 4750 you can expect the next target to be 4800 which is going to give it a little resistance for any upside move once 4800 or 4.8 dollars is taken then you can expect it to hit 4900 and 5000 levels also can be expected now look at the stock on the downside on the downside if you talk about any short entries only below 4600 where 4570 will come into picture which is going to be a stronger support and then 45 
10 or 20 levels which is going to be stronger support so these two levels on the downside definitely going to provide a stronger support that is 45 20 so take a short entry at 4600 or 4.6 dollars and you can expect it to break a little but yes uh, 4.5 to or 45 20 levels definitely will provide support below 45 20 we can expect it to drop till towards 4400 so yes take your positions accordingly whenever you take a position don't try expect don't uh, forget to move your stop losses to your entry price whenever you see it in profit markets are volatile preserve your capital now look at the four hour charts the stochastic was overbought it has come to oversold levels and from here we are looking forward to a rise and that is why i say a long entry beyond 47.50 is recommended you can take a long entry there you can expect it to hit 48.20 or 4.82 dollars then 4900 and 49.50 and 5000 my target is towards 5000 levels we may see it hitting today there is a possible crossover on MACD on the 4 hour charts but we may see whether it will happen or not. So this is all for natural gas. Now let's have a look at Nifty 50. Nifty on the 4 hour charts what a sharp drop and if you recall my weekly analysis, my daily analysis, my monthly analysis. I have been shouting this for since long that Nifty will hit 30. Uh, 16,500 and 16,200 levels if you watch my two weeks back analysis I had very very clearly told that nifty will hit 16,200 levels and also for bank nifty the target for the month closing was 35,000 levels if you don't believe this watch my two weeks back weekly analysis definitely you can realize that what I have said very clearly that nifty and bank nifty will see a good drop towards 16,200 and uh, 35,000 levels on the 4 hour charts see what it is trying to do it is trying it has got its support intact at 16000 you can see here and after the support at 16000 it is again trading with a good rise now this level is a very strong support level also that is at 16450 levels also look at this 4 hour chart if you look closely at the 4 hour chart it is almost formed lower highs and it is still trying to form higher lows now once we say higher lows and lower highs that it is still bullish this is a bull and flag uh, pole and flag formation probably it may try to trade it within this zone that is uh, 16600 to 16400 today it may try to uh, trade in this zone before trying to take a decisive move if it if you see it dropping below 16400 now you can definitely take a short entry rather i will say below 16400 the nearest support is at around 16370 so if you take a short entry or a short entry is only recommended once it breaks 16370 after that it may try to correct strongly on the downside at the same time any long entry is only beyond 16620 levels so in between these 300 points what to expect we will see now this is just on a 4 hour charts also look at the stochastic is on a 4 hour chart it is again rising upwards and it is again trying to come back to overbought level so maybe a consolidation within this zone for next couple of candles can be expected and we don't or we may not see major move on nifty now look at the MACD are trying to converge and RSI is looking again downwards but at a comfortable level now coming back to the daily charts on the daily charts it appears that we may see a drop on the daily charts but till the time it remains below 16600 you can again try to take a short entry there and you can expect but a short entry below 16370 is something which I will recommend if it drops below 16370 you can take a short entry there and possibly expect it to drop sharply again below these levels on the upside yes 16620 should provide a resistance now see this is the daily charts and this is the bottom of the bollinger bands now the bottom of the bollinger bands right now trying to provide a little resistance if it breaks here at 16620 it may try to again come back till towards 16800 level so we have to be very cautious with nifty today any long entry is only beyond 16620 where you can expect it to rise any short entry is below 16370 where you can expect it to drop and it may try to trade in between these levels that is also very much possible right now the dpo is in red the stock stick is near oversold levels it is not oversold but it is near oversold levels you can see here and if you see this time still it has got some room see previous lows were almost uh, if you connect this it has still got some room to drop further and that is what 
we can expect that possibly and if it tries to reverse i will be waiting for that then we will be in a bullish zone again or a buy zone again the macd is on sell and are divergent on the downside so coming back to this uh coming back to the daily charts let's have a look at the minor time frame also because see we are getting a wide trading zone no trading zone and we have to be very cautious here now look at the hourly charts very clearly here it has got resistance at 16570 levels so yes probably once it breaks 16570 also you can go long for 16620 and 16700 levels so for the day we have got almost now 50 points reduced 16670 is the level beyond which you can take a long entry or 16570 is the level beyond which you can take a long entry for 16620 and 16700 uh, levels on the downside if it breaks 16370 here you can take a short entry for 16300 and below that it will try to break heavily towards 16200 levels so this is what we can expect the volatility or the VIX on uh, nifty is high so we may see a wider trading zone it can trade between 16700 to 16200 levels also so take your positions accordingly it might swing it might swing heavily so don't trade without a stop loss so this is all for nifty 50 now let's have a look at us 30 now this is the early chart for us 30 clearly showing lower highs and indicating that probably it may try to correct a bit on the downside so every hourly candle it is trying to restrain on this side and any breakout beyond now this zone that is 33100 if you see it trading above 33100 any point of time you can again go long for 33300 and the beyond levels also are very much possible if it continues to rise beyond 33100 but till the time it remains 33 below 33100 you can again expect it to drop and this time the drop is going to be sharp probably we may see it coming towards 32 900 and 32 850 levels these two levels are important below that it will try to hit directly towards 32 700 and below that sky is open but this is on the early charts let's have a look at the four hour charts because a major time frame is always a good indicator now look at this look at the four hour charts and you can clearly see how beautifully the highs are connected here so even if it tries to rise this zone at 33300 definitely should be a stronger resistance but you can always expect this is an hourly chart this is almost a megaphone pattern here and after such pattern also one observation that see the previous candle on the previous candle the body size is almost half the wick here and this is indicative that probably it may try to drop so any long entry is beyond 33 or 200 so in fact if you see trading about 33 100 you can take a long entry for 33 200 only beyond 33 200 i will recommend to go long else it may try to correct a bit now in this formation also this is a minor retracement it has completed half the circle here we, after this drop this is the retracement now almost 61.8 percent and this is trying to drop again from here so if you see it uh, till the time it remains below 33 100 you can expect it to drop the nearest resistance will come into picture at 32 900 and then 32 850 levels these two levels are very important once 32 850 is taken the next support will only come into picture at 32600 so uh, yes 32900 32840 and below that it will try to hit 32700 and 32600 levels it can try to come back again till here that is my expectation now look at the stochastic here stochastic on the four hour charts is again overbought MACD lines are crossing in or towards a buy side we have to be very little cautious here now look at the coming back to the daily charts on the daily charts it appears we are going to look into a sharper drop here and why i say lower highs and now opening the the opening of this candle below the previous candle now it is trying to trade in red and this time again possibly we may see it dropping and the target is towards 32500 if it breaks this zone at 32700 uh, i will say 32800 if it breaks 32800 you can expect it to drop till towards 32500 levels so take your positions accordingly for the day till the time it remains below 33100 one can remain short only long entry beyond 33100 can be expected the next target is or resistance is 33200 for the day in fact 33200 it can one can remain short and one can expect it to drop and i will consider it a reversal beyond 33200 levels only and 
look at the stochastic was oversold extremely oversold here and now again it come back coming back to the comfortable levels here so macd is still on sell and divergent rsi is oversold here so if not today it has to bounce back definitely if it's not today then maybe uh, next week but it has to bounce back and because this is oversold but these are uh, these are different times and possibly it can continue on oversold levels for little long when it was rising we never questioned that why it is trading in overbought levels and it did not give an answer also that why it is trading in an overbought levels so yes it can sustain these levels and after this it uh, if it breaks 33 200 the next target is 33 500 levels so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at nasdaq 100 now this is the daily charts for nasdaq 100 the highs are well connected here and you can see any long entry is only beyond 3900 and once it trades beyond 3900 or rather i will say 3950 once it trades beyond 3950 then only you can uh, enter a long or a buy beyond but till the time it remains below 13 13 sorry 13950 and till the time it remains below 13900 you can expect it to drop again and i will expect it to correct again probably the next support levels at 13700 will come into picture then 13610 will come into picture this level till 13600 is very strong support for uh us 100 and below that 13 500 these two three levels are very strong levels for us 100 almost every 100 points below 30 13 700 will come into picture any long entry is only recommended once it breaks 13 950 till the time for the day it remains below 13 950 one can remain short one can expect it to drop uh daily charge stochastic has again come back towards a comfortable zone with a strong rise yesterday and probably we may see it cool cooling down a bit today and MACD lines are uh, trying to converge and crossing over on the buy zone but I don't find that this may happen however these are markets now look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts it is again come back to this levels and it is completed this journey so from here we started yesterday and now uh, taking the support at 13,000 level it is again trying to rise it, there is a stronger resistance almost a, a lower highs but uh, one formation this could be pole and flag formation where it can drop a little and then continue to rise that is my observation but on the daily charts if you combine it with daily charts uh, one can expect it to drop and till the time it remains as I said 13950 here one can uh, go, remain short the next target is 13700 then 13620 and 13500 levels can be expected till here one can uh, expect that this is just a minor retracement also looking at this also looking at the charts carefully you will find that now it is trading out of this channel on a 4 hour chart and that is why probably one can in fact expect that it is trying to correct back a bit the next target is 13500 and in fact it can trade below towards 13300 levels so take your positions accordingly also look at the stochastic is overbought on a 4 hour chart indicates that probably we may see a little drop and MACD lines are wide and divergent RSI is comfortable now all these indications are clear that probably we are going to look forward to another drop and on an hourly charts also we have seen that it is trying to look forward on the downside this time the sharp correction the correction could be sharp or the rally could be sharp either ways it is possible any long entry beyond 13950 will take it towards 14100 14200 zone on the downside yes here you can expect 13 700 levels and 13 620 levels going to be a stronger resistance and then 13 500 will come into picture looking forward that possibly we may see a sharper red candle taking it towards 13 700 and 620 and 500 levels my expectation for us 100 that it may drop a little before trying to take a rise so this is all for us 100 now let's have a look at FTSE 100 FTSE 100 saw very sharp correction as what we had expected that once it drops below 7460 7480 level definitely it will correct and that is what had happened but I did not expect I had not expected it to drop below 7200 levels now this zone at 7200 to 7000 is a very strong zone for uh, FTSE 100 we have seen it consolidating between this zone for quite a long time before it rallied towards 7500 now for the day the candle is trying to uh, form a wick here and only long entry beyond 7320 and 7350 is what i will recommend once it breaks 7320 and 7350 zone 
Yes, definitely it can rise strongly beyond on the upside towards 7380 and 7400 levels. However, any short entry is recommended once it breaks below 7250. Once it breaks below 7250, you can again expect it to drop towards 7200 and below levels. However, I think it is oversold and it may try to rise. But see, a stochastic doesn't indicate and a stochastic is again looking downwards. So uh, probably it may try to drop again. And now the next target is towards 7200 and 7150 levels. So yes, if it draws below 7250, you can take a short entry towards 7200 and 7150 levels. Almost 50, 50 points, 100 points, you might get a stronger drop if it trades below 7250. On the flip side, trading below 7310 or 7320, yes, you can take a long entry. MACD lines on the daily charts are wide divergent looking downwards. Now look at the 4 hour charts. On the 4 hour charts, you will find that it is trying to consolidate and still it has got its support intact and the uh, bottom is almost uh, there at 7250. Double bottom has been formed and lower highs is what it is forming. So in between these 50 points, 7250 and 7320 rather I will say 70 points, 7320 and 7250 don't trade. Any drop below 7. 250 levels will try to take it towards 7220 and 7200. These two levels are very important. Below this, it may try to correct sharply towards 7150 and below levels. On the flip side, breaking below beyond 7320, the next target 7350, 7360, and 7400 will come into picture. It can try to rise till there. Looking upwards on the 4 hour charts and trying to converge on a 4 hour charts. So, FTSE 100 may try to retrace back a bit and it can possibly look upwards, can hit 7380, 7400 levels are also possible if it breaks beyond 7300, 7320 zone then and then only. So, this is all for FTSE 100. Now, let's have a look at Germany 40. Similar is the observation on a 4 hour chart on Germany 40. Here is a probable retracement, lower highs and now a short entry below 14180 is recommended if you see it dropping below 14180 you can go short you can again expect it to correct sharply and how far this correction could be see if it draws below 14180 it may again try to come back till towards 14050 and below levels so yes and a probable long entry is only a probable long entry is only beyond 14300 or rather i will say 14350 levels once it breaks 14350 you can again expect it to hit 14,420 levels which is going to be a stronger resistance and once it breaks 14,420 sky is the limit on a 4 hour charts the uh, stochastic is looking upwards MACD lines are trying to cross over also on the daily charts if you look at on the daily charts you will find that it is see the previous candle the body size is uh, smaller and the tail is larger indicating that bulls are trying to take it back however now look at the daily charts if you connect the dots here you will find that this zone at 14350 is going to be important only if it breaks 14350 you can expect it to rise towards 14500 levels the, here at 14500 and 14550 it might get a little resistance and beyond that definitely it will fly on the downside, if it's, you see it breaking below 14,180, definitely it is going to drop again and you can short there. My expectation that it may try to drop again, possibly if not lower lows, it can try to come back again till towards 13,900, 13,800 levels. So take a short entry below 14,180, you can definitely profit there and take a long entry beyond 14,350 uh, uh, levels, almost 170 points, you have to restrain yourself. Stochastic trading near oversold levels, MACD lines wide and divergent. So take your positions accordingly. A long entry beyond 14350, a short entry below 14180, and beyond 14350, the target is towards 14420 and 14500 levels. On the downside, the target is towards once it breaks 14180, you can expect 14,050 and 13,900 levels in fact can drop till towards 13,800 levels also. So this is all for Germany 40. This is all for all global markets and indices and commodities. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Don't forget to join the Telegram channel or uh, email to me if you have any trading or training related queries. You can join my mentorship batch and definitely you can become an expert or proficient and efficient trader at least. So this is all from my side. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.